Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. In today's video, we're going to finally put some plastic on our hoop house, greenhouse, high tunnel. Again, still don't know what to call it. If you're new to this project and you want to know what's going on, there's a playlist here. You can see some back history, see what we've got going on. But um, now it's time to put our plastic on. And I ordered our plastic uh, a while back actually, because I've been working on this project. I ordered a while back and it is greenhouse plastic. You can see some here on the ground. We, we ordered specific, <clears throat> we ordered specifically greenhouse plastic. And the difference between that and what you get at the box store is the UV coating. So this plastic has a UV coating on it that helps it from breaking down uh, from the sun. It's my understanding if you use box store plastic, the type of stuff, the typical plastic, it's not gonna last very long at all. The sun's gonna bake it, it's gonna get crunchy and fall apart. So we ordered this, I'll link below uh, where we ordered it from. Um, we were able to order, instead of just ordering like a big roll, you can actually order um, dimensions. They have specific dimensions listed that you can get, or you can even, um, you can even custom order uh, your dimensions. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, the ones they had already, um, already sized to certain dimensions worked well for us. We got two 24 by 10 panels. I've got one in my hand here. You see one already on the face of the of the hoop house, and that was I ordered those when I was going to use a lap or I wasn't going to use lap siding. I was going to have the uh, plastic all the way to the base, but we decided to build up the lap siding there, and that's going to use less plastic. So I could probably get both ends enclosed with uh, with one with one piece of plastic. So we'll see if I cut it right. We'll see. So I may not even have to use this. <clears throat> Another thing that we got. We use half inch conduit on the, um, for the ribs of the hoop house. So I was able to find these uh, blue half inch clips that clip on there for low tunnels because usually that's where you use half inch conduit on a low tunnel. So I was able to get these and they clip on. You can see that's actually what's holding that first piece of plastic up there, just a couple to hold it in place. So these clips allow us to, uh, to hold that in place. So what we're trying to figure out is do you put the sides on first and then the top over top and that's what we're trying first. We think that's going to be the most logical. That's what I've seen other people do. They seem to have their plastic up and over on the sides, and then the top comes over and has a little bit of an overhang, and then that's what they're fastening it to. So it's almost like, not that it would really make it eve, but there'd be a little bit of extra plastic here. Not too much to get a bunch of wind under it, but a little bit of plastic there as an overhang. So we're going to try that, see how that works, and try to put it together. Taken out where the door is going to be taken out. Yeah. Let me do that first. Like back up there. Or do you want to adjust this? No, come over here. You should do this. And then I'll adjust that as we go that way. Do what? It's running uphill a little bit. Hold this tight so I can go around the window. Oh, okay.
camo. Grab that corner right here and just pull that way. Just a little side down pinch on it. Let's see, uh, more down. Here we go. Well, okay, so we finished up last night right at dark and just in time for a little bit of snow to come on. And you can see, got a couple small sags at the top from the snow. And it's not from stretching the plastic, it's actually, if you can see that rail, how that's coming in, right where that, right there is where the knuckle is. Eh, dirt on the fingernail, nice try. Um, right there is a knuckle. Those, those junctions and there's just enough slop in there to pull that in and I see the same here on this end so you can see how that's brought in quite a bit so what I need to do is I need to put a another piece of conduit all the way across the top like I had on the inside I'll go inside and look real quick So yeah, so you can see this, that horizontal piece is keeping the span proper. This horizontal piece is keeping the span proper. But the fact that there's not a horizontal piece at top is allowing that to come in. So if I was, if I was pushing that out, then that would keep that sag out. So I'm going to have to come back and put a, put a span across the top there. Now one other thing I need to do that uh, some of y'all suggested and I definitely agree is do some A bracing. So we'll take some conduit pieces and not necessarily every one but we'll come across horizontally here and that'll help keep that from getting smushed like a pancake. So uh, so right now it is of course uh, resisting water at least. It's starting to dry out in here. And obviously I need to cut out the windows. I haven't done that yet because I didn't want a bunch of wind coming through and getting underneath it. Uh, so we'll cut out the windows and then come back and put the plastic over the frames that I made. So the plan for this area right here, uh, the, the portion that's going to roll up, is we want to be able to take, uh, I want to take the extra plastic, kind of roll it over, make a little sleeve or pocket, and slide PVC pipe through. So like a pole pocket, two or three inch PVC, I haven't quite figured out exactly which one I'm going to use. And, and leave it proud on both ends. And then what I've seen people do is drill a vertical hole through that PVC on the end and drive rebar down here on the sides. And you can roll it up and then slide it over the rebar so it hangs if you wanted to have it rolled up enough uh, to let some air in. Or um, when it's in its pocket, have it slid down over the rebar so it doesn't, of course, get air underneath it and blow away. So uh, that'll be the plan next. And uh, we'll document that right here if uh, you want to check that out, and that'll be coming up in the near future.